Hi, welcome back. This is Nano Nick. First, I would like to thank you guys for liking all of my YouTube videos and showing them. Also, today I am going to be showing you guys the town of Fairbanks and North Pole where I live. I'm going to be wearing a face mask today to be smart because of the COVID-19. Let's get going. Right behind me is the Tanana Valley uh, Market. It is open on Wednesdays and Saturdays where thousands of farmers and artists come and sell their products and produce to the community. Hey, welcome back. We are at our next stop. We are at the Mark Large Amber Research Station. In 1923, Mike Yankovic established it as a homestead. Then in 1963, he turned it over to the University of Alaska Fairbanks and they started studying large animals. In front of me, there is a mascot. The first one that came to the bar is in 1963. They like to eat plants. All right, now I would like to give you guys a little tour of the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Right behind me is the Wood Center. And the downstairs there is a um, bunch of pool tables, an air hockey table, and for those of age also there is a pub inside too. Upstairs is where the dining hall is where you get your food at. Right behind me is the UAF Signal Hall. A cool fact is the in 1956 the La Alaska Constitution was signed here. Another cool fact is U UAF was established in 1917 and it opened for class in 1922. Right behind me is the Patty Center where the UAF basketball teams and the volleyball team and home can play. Right behind me is the University of Alaska Physics Museum. It's also called Museum of the North. A lot of it is on display, but also some of it's downstairs as well. A lot of people won't be able to see. It's a pretty neat place if you like history. Behind me is the Geophysical Institute. They study the earthquakes and the northern lights and other things, which is really cool. Folks, I'm at the Botanical Gardens, located at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. It was started 1989 in honor of Char Charles Gergerson. If you also like music, they do music in the garden on Thursday nights. It's fun and it's free and it's kid, kid friendly. Hi folks, we are at the Fairbanks International Airport. I would like to inform you there's seven gates. Also, there's it's on 3,470 acres. And when you do travel, please remember to not bring fireworks. It's not allowed. Here we are at Pioneer Park. I would like to show you guys around it. Also, Pioneer Park opened in 1967. I would like to read you guys some information about this train back here. The Harding car was built in 1905 in Chicago, Illinois. And passengers until 1945. It was donated to the, the city of Fairbanks in 1959. Then it was moved to the park in 1965. The Harding car also passed the Denali car and the train car that President Warren Harding rode in when he came to Alaska in 1923. And he was also the first president to come to Alaska. The SS Nanana was built in 1933 and it retired in 1955. The SS Nanana is one of the last wooden vessels of this type to remain. Now I'd like to show you Gold Mine Village. These cabins that we're about to see were located in downtown Fairbanks, then moved to Pioneer Park to use our shops. Due to COVID-19, we're not able to go inside them.
Behind me is the Carson Center where the UAF hockey team plays and you can also catch um, concerts here. Welcome to downtown Fairbanks. The Gina behind me flooded in August 1967. <laughs> This was July 1967. In 1901, E.T. Burnett landed his paddleboard named Lavelle Youngs. Then he started a train post. In 1902, he named it Fairbanks after Senator Charles Fairbanks, who lived in Illinois. Fairbanks is known for the Northern Lights and Mushing. There is a dog race called Yukon Crutch, which is a thousand miles, and one year it will start here, and the other year it will finish here in downtown Fairbanks. Behind me is one of my favorite shops, the Fudge Pot in downtown Fairbanks. I like it because it's really good fudge. Another place I like is downtown is called the Crepery. Due to COVID-19, we were not able to go into any of these shops. Also, there's a lot of tourist things downtown on 2nd Avenue for you guys to do. Right behind me is the Morris Thompson Museum. It's another place to go if you like history and it's free. And it's pretty cool to go to. This arch is made of, of, out of 100 moose and caribou antlers. Thank you all across of Alaska. Right behind me is the Big Dipper. You can watch the Fairbanks Ice Hall play hockey. Another thing you can do is ice skating there. Also, they have a track for you guys to walk on. Right behind me is the Santa Claus House in Northport, Alaska. It's very cold out here, that's why I have a sweatshirt. Right behind me is Cramer Field. It used to be a, a dairy farm, but then they turned into a wildlife rescue. This is one of the places I like to go hiking. Right behind me is the Tanana Valley and also in the winter times they do ice sculpture competition here. It's really cool because the ice sculptures, people come all around the world to do ice sculpture contests. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video seeing what's here in Fairbanks and in North Pole. Hopefully you guys can come see it soon for itself. It's a beautiful place. Till next time, see ya.